The member for Light. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Acting Speaker. Mr. Acting Speaker, I just like to rise um, and in support of this, of this bill, and also would uh, concur with the comments made by uh, speakers so far, and including the, the member for Chafee. Uh, I think that uh, uh, I think what well, I'll just support what you said. Yeah, um, uh, Mr. Speaker, I. Uh, as, as an ex-road safety minister, um, this is a, an issue which is obviously dear to my heart. And when you see the data about road crashes and the deaths on our roads, and also the pain caused by the families and friends of those people who die on our roads, and when you see some of the causes of those deaths, which were avoidable, it really does make you think about what do we need to do to actually get that message across. You know, we, know, we know what the, the five high risk factors are. We know speed is one of those. Uh, we know that um, drink driving or taking drugs is a high risk factor. Uh, we know, for example, not wearing a speed belt is a high risk factor. Uh, dangerous driving and distractions are the others. The five things which increase the risks of death on our roads. The reality is, Mr Acting Speaker, mistakes will be made on the road all the time. That's unfortunate. We all make mistakes as drivers. Anybody who suggests they don't make a mistake, I don't think either not driving or not even aware of the fact they've made, actually made a mistake, because we all make mistakes on the road. The important thing is we minimise the potential for errors and also we also minimise the repercussions from those areas, errors. And by that I mean, Mr Speaker, if you're driving at a speed which is way beyond, which is recommended for that area, you are increasing the risk. Okay. And what could have been uh, a minor car incident could be a major fatality. And that's the importance of speed. If, for example, you are drink, drink, you have been drinking or taking drugs, your capacity to respond quickly is diminished. And therefore, if you or somebody else makes a mistake, what and uh, you know, you, what should have been perhaps a minor incident can be made, again, a fatal mistake by the fact that you've increased the risk by your behaviour. So it's in these behavioural areas we can, we can influence some things. Clearly, we need to make sure our roads are designed in a way that is, if, we, if we do make a mistake, it doesn't lead to a fatality. And that's why we've actually, successive governments have made a whole range of improvements to our roads in terms of um, making sure that there's wider roads, for example, if you go off the road a little bit, you don't end up, um, if you like, rolling over the car and having a major injury, etc. So there's a lot of things we can do to minimise uh, the extent of, of a fatality should, should, uh, should somebody make a mistake. But in terms of but in terms of what's before us, Mr Speaker, it is interesting to note that some people still think it's quite appropriate to try to text or to pick up a handset of a phone and be distracted why, why, why on the road. In any workplace, you wouldn't be allowed to do that. If you're operating, operating some machinery in a workplace, um, you just wouldn't be allowed to do that because the risk of being distracted when you're operating some machinery or equipment could be quite fatal. And there's no difference when you're in sitting behind a wheel of a car. And as has been said a number of times already this morning, uh, you may cause a, a, a crash, but somebody else may die from your, your, your behaviour. And I think that is even worse than somebody who's actually uh, killed themselves through, uh, through a distraction. In my view, Mr Speaker, no phone call or text message is so important that it warrants causing death on our road, whether it's your own or somebody else's. I cannot think of any, any text message or any phone call which is that important that it would warrant doing that. And when you do play with your phone and take text messages or send a text or use your phone, that's what you are actually saying that phone call, that text message is, is more important than your own life or somebody else's life. And it's not. It is not. 
Driver distraction, Mr. S Mr. Acting Speaker, is a major road safety risk, leading to cause to fatal and serious injuries crashes in South Australia. Uh, this government's committed. Uh, I think all governments are committed to reducing dangerous and high-risk be driving behaviours, and one of those is distraction. Using a mobile phone which is, which, while driving is dangerous, and I'm not sure why people would think otherwise. Road trauma is a blight on South Australian communities and tears families apart, as I mentioned. Uh, this measure is an important deterrent to a significant behavioural cont contribution to the road toll. And Mobile phone detection cameras which have been installed in the state have proven effective in identifying drivers who illegally use their phones. And it is quite safe. It is, like I said, Mr. S Mr. Acting Speaker, if you need to, if a phone call was that important or text so important, as been mentioned, you pull aside, you stop your car, and you do what you have to do, and you keep yourself and other people safe. The introduction of the mobile phone detection cameras. Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Acting Speaker, aligns with South Australia's road safety strategy target of reducing serious casualties to fewer than 43 lives lost and 473, 474 serious injuries by 2031. And that's a huge target. It's an admirable target. It's a huge target, given by then there'll be more people on our roads, and we actually are trying to reduce the rate considerably. Mr. S Acting Speaker, the, the Statutes Amendment Bill amends the road traffic hour to allow for the use of mobile phone detection cameras in between 2017 and 2021, inattention has been a contributing factor to 51 per cent of fatal crashes and 34 per cent of serious injury crashes. This equates to 247 deaths and 1,330 serious injuries. Over the past four years, over 30,000 expiation notices were issued to drivers in South Australia for mobile phone offences. That is an incredibly high number of people continue to do the wrong thing. Mobile phone detection cameras will work in conjunction with existing enforcement measures, in addition to other road safety measures introduced by this government, uh, such as the new anti-hoon laws, which could see motorists found guilty of extreme speed and offences face three years of imprisonment. Mr Acting Speaker, uh, mobile phone detection cameras will target distraction, one of the, vital, one of the fatal five, which I've mentioned a bit earlier, sir. Uh, and hopefully will help reduce our road toll. Importantly, all revenue generated by mobile phone detection cameras will be directed to the Community Road Safety Fund to invest in road safety measures in our community. Examples have included uh, State Black Spot Program, Road Safety Research, the Way to Go School Safety Program, amongst others. Um, and in my own electorate, Mr Speaker, we've reintroduced a number of measures to reduce the road safety measure and particularly road safety measures for pedestrians. The cameras are expected to be operational from late 2023 with a three months grace and education period. Mr Speaker, I'm hoping that this measure will encourage those 30,000 people who have been caught over the last four years to learn from their behaviour and also encourage others so we can get that figure down because I think this measure will be successful when we actually are issuing less expiation notice because people are doing the right thing. I commend the bill to the, to the House.